In Africa, weddings and everything associated with them have become a multi-million dollar industry. Young couples can't wait for their turn to get to plan all the details of their white wedding, from the lavish decor, towering cakes, to the bride's white dress, often complete with bejeweled crowns, indeed everything required to make her princess for a day, and lengthy trains, to the groom's tuxedo exhibit, the theatrical displays of maids of honor and distinguished men of the court. The invasion and colonization of the British brought a slew of changes to Africa, including imposing the Victorian values and imagery of the British elite, which were subsequently adopted and upheld as more valuable than African ones, thus largely diminishing our own traditional customs. However, some important aspects of the marital ceremonies and rites are still observed today in various African cultures. But how many young Africans know, understand, and respect our traditional custom? So many aspects of the white wedding are direct replications of England's Victorian era, as amusingly depicted in the popular Netflix series Bridgerton when British imperialism became the hallmark of civilization. Much like the series, trends set by the royals were copied by aristocrats who were in turn copied by everyone else. And this went on right down the chain to the colonies, where Africans have historically copied everything English seemingly without question. This begs the question, how much do we really know about the wedding customs we practice in Africa? Which of them are complete replicas of someone else's culture? And which of these customs are actually our way? 